recipe is for homemade plum jam this is the ones I finished off and here is some of it in a ladle and it's still quite warm actually but it is so yummy and you know exactly what's gone into it too all you need is fresh plums some sugar actually a lot of sugar and some water so you know what you're feeding your kids and who doesn't love homemade food I hope you guys enjoy the recipe need one and a half kilos of plums one and a half kilos of white sugar and two-thirds of a cup of water or 200 milliliters of water you're going to need a nice big saucepan with a heavy bottom so it doesn't burn I've cut around the middle and then I'm going to do it so that it's in quarters it just doesn't seem to be working with this batch so any way you can remove the seed from the middle and you don't need to take the skin off you can if you want but I just generally leave it on so all of my plums have the seeds taken out or the stones taken out and it's in my saucepan that I'm going to use and we're going to add our two-thirds of a cup of water and then we're going to put this on a simmer for an hour and what will happen is it'll reduce down and you want the liquid to be reduced by about uh, two-thirds and the fruit should be very soft now we don't want to put a lid on this because we do want the liquid to reduce and by keeping the lid on it won't let our steam out so put it on uncovered for an hour until the liquid is reduced by two-thirds you just want to keep an eye on it um, just making sure the fruit is all squashed down into the water and just um, give it a stir every 15 minutes or so just to because in my saucepan the fruit isn't actually all in the water so you just want to mix it around a little bit jam is simmering away on the stove we want to sterilize the jars that we're going to put the jam into there are various ways to do this I always just put them in this saucepan before I made before I started to make the jam I put them in this saucepan and I just boiled them in plain water for about 10 minutes the lids and the jars um, there are different ways to do it you can put them in the oven I've um, heard people putting them in the oven just over the over a um, sort of a warm heat just to um, sterilize them just look it up on the internet there are so many different ways to do it um, you could even use a baby sterilizer the one with the steam if you'd like like I said different ways to do it so get your jars ready and they do have to be dry when we put our jam into the jars okay this is what mine looks like after 20 minutes simmer for an hour and this is what it looks like it's reduced quite a lot and all the fruit is soft so now it's time to add our sugar and we have to warm our sugar up I'm not sure why this is but I'm just putting mine in the microwave for a couple of minutes just so it's warm so it's only about 15 or 20 minutes away from being done so just pop a small plate into the fridge or freezer we're going to use this to test our jam so you want to reduce the heat and then add our warm sugar so as you can see I've added my sugar and we are just going to stir this so we can combine it and we just want to stir until it's completely dissolved now it is going to get a bit thicker by whilst it's dissolving and this will probably take a minute or so to dissolve it's 
So after our sugar is dissolved, we want to bring this to the boil and it needs to be on a rapid boil. So I've turned up my heat and I'll just continue to stir just to make sure the sugar has dissolved. And I'm just going to wait for it to come to the boil and be very careful if this gets on you, it is going to really hurt because it's really sticky and it's not going to come off very quick. So be very careful, no little kids around. Now at this stage it hasn't quite started to boil yet but we have to keep an eye on it because it will burn um, quite easily. I have made a batch of this before and burn it and it tasted disgusting. So just stir it until it comes up to the boil. See we have it boiling and you want to set your timer for uh, 15 minutes but I would check to see if it's ready after 10 because um, it can at the end it will become like um, the setting consistency really quick at the end so you want to catch it on time so you should have had your small little plate um, in the freezer or the fridge ready to check it for setting so I'm going to leave this for 10 minutes and then I'm going to check it I'm going to test it and it may be a good idea to take this off the heat because it's spitting everywhere and I don't want to get burnt. So to test the jam we want to grab a spoon and put some on a plate. Just a little bit on a plate like that. And then we want to leave it until it's cooled down a bit because obviously we don't want to burn ourselves. And then we'll need to run our finger through it. And if it separates and stays like that, it means it's finished. I'm actually going to stick it back in the freezer for a little bit. Then we'll see how we go. So I've just taken it out of the freezer. I only put it in there for about 30 seconds. Ouch. It's still a little bit hot. We just want to run our finger through it. Yum. And see how it stays separated? It means it's finished. So take it off the heat and we're ready to put in our jars. It's very, very hot. You want to fill it up so that it is about half a centimetre from the top of our jars. I'm not using any special kind of jar. These are just jars that I've had, you know, when you've had jam before or olives just jars that you you know bought from the shop sort of thing with stuff in them and um, I don't know about the jars where you live but they have like this pop top thing in the middle and when the jar hasn't been opened it it won't press down Let's see if I can hear that that means it's been opened so when you get the jar you can't press that middle bit so after we've put these lids on the hot jam jars, it actually forms a vacuum and will suck down that button so that you won't be able to press it down. That means you know that it's been sealed off properly. And there's probably all different ways to seal your jars and that off the old fashioned ways, but that one works for me. I've used it plenty of times before. It will last up to about 12 months in a um, dark cool place so in a, in a cupboard at the back in the dark and then it will last up uh, once it's opened it will last about eight weeks in the fridge trust me it won't last eight weeks in the fridge it, you'll eat it well before the eight weeks because this recipe is absolutely delicious so I hope you enjoyed this recipe it is very easy hardly anything to do really, just chop it up and stick it on the stove. So don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment and if you guys make this or make one with different fruit please let me know how it turned out.